Dear Pumpkin, When I was about your age, my best friend was a donkey named Muriel. Our friendship was unlike any other. The springs and summers we shared together, we roamed around every hill and burrow in northwestern Kansas. Then one autumn, something unexpected happened, and perhaps I was too naive to even notice. While our donkeys were strong, young, and healthy, Muriel was the oldest at around 12 years, and her task was to pull stumps. Well, without even thinking, I rode Muriel like a racehorse while she pulled the stump, and it nearly broke her hooves. She still pulled further than the other donkeys, but it cost her big. Then, a few days later, I got up to fix myself some scrambled eggs, bacon, and even toast with butter. Knowing how hard Muriel worked to pull that stump, I made her an extra piece of toast as a special treat. But when I opened the front door, I found both my father and Muriel in the front yard with our landlord, Mr. Porter. Porter gave my father a big wad of bills, and my father gave him Muriel in exchange. Never had my heart felt so broken. After Porter left, I squealed at my father for selling my best friend, our good-for-nothing landlord. He tried telling me it was better for Muriel's health, but I wasn't going to give up on my friend that easily. I looked around every aforementioned hill and burrow where Muriel and I used to play. After some time, I finally found Porter's house. Muriel seemed okay, but I needed a closer look. Just as I crept up behind the bushes for an ambush, I saw Porter's little daughter, petting and playing with Muriel. Seeing Muriel with a sweet and gentle child put me at ease. I realized at that moment that if you truly love somebody, you have to let them go. When Mr. Porter noticed me behind the bushes, I made no attempt to lie about searching for his place, but only to say goodbye to my friend. So I gave Muriel a hug and even a kiss that made Porter's daughter giggle, and both Muriel and I blushed like bashful swallows. From then, I moved on, secure in believing that more was awaiting me than just animal companions. The reason for me telling you this is to wish you a happy birthday, and to always remember that any wish coming from me is no small effort. Grandpa Caleb